Hi there, Sonia Bueno de la Torre here. And today I want to share something that I've changed in my life that made a huge difference. You know that I keep teaching that energy follows attention. And everything is energy. Everything. Our thoughts, our emotions, our actions, everything is energy. Also our words and what we say to ourselves every day. And I was doing something very limiting in my life and it has to do with money and you know that I said that I would uh, speak about love uh, about money love and meditation so today is a money tip that I've changed in my life and I'm still working on that but I used to say and let me ask you if you ever said that in your life and I'm pretty sure you did did you ever say in your life I'm broke did you ever say in your life I can't afford it. I can't afford this. I'm sure you did. If not, congratulations. But let's, let's keep it real here. Most of us have said that at some point or another. And some of us, including me, have said that a lot of times. So just feel the energy for a moment. If you keep saying, I'm broke, I can't afford that. I can't afford this. I can't afford this. Ooh. What we do is really we kind of like close the door to being able to afford it and that's the message that we give ourselves unconsciously every day that we are broke and that we can't afford it. How can we receive abundance and money into our lives if we keep saying those words? The universe is not going to give us anything. Nobody is going to give us anything because our message is I'm broke closed I can't afford it so what I did I consciously made the choice the decision to erase those words from my vocabulary so I don't say I'm broke anymore and I don't say I can't afford this anymore but here's the thing it's not just to erasing it and 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 trying to ignore that maybe you don't have the money or you don't want to invest but here's the thing often we are just not truthful to ourselves because if I say I can't afford it I can't afford it it's usually because I don't want to Let's be real. And this might be a very dramatic example. But imagine that your best friend or somebody you love dearly, somebody who is so important to you that you would do anything for this person, calls you up and says, listen, I had an accident, I need surgery, and if I don't have that surgery, I'm not going to survive. And the, sur and the surgery costs uh, $10,000. I know it's very dramatic, and, but I just want to make a point. Would you come up with ten thousand dollars to save that person's life I'm sure you did I would I would do anything to get that money would that be important to me yes would I say oh sorry I'm broke I can't afford it no so when we say I can't afford it it's just also because it's not important enough for us and we have a choice and then we can say you know what I choose not to invest in that instead of sighing, saying, I can't afford it. Does that make sense? I mean, feel the difference. Say a few times, out loud, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I haven't said that for, I have said it so many times that I feel already collapsed, that it makes me feel heavy, depressed. You know, it's just, I can't afford it. It brings you into a victim state. So now take a nice deep breath, let's get out of that. And just say, you know what, I don't want to afford that or I don't want to spend that money. I choose not to. I choose not to. It's not important enough. Or maybe it is important enough, but the choice you make. When you take responsibility and you go out of the victim, you empower yourself. Just feel the difference between I can't afford it and I choose not to invest in this. And sometimes we say, I can't afford it to be nice and not to hurt anybody. Maybe somebody comes and say, hey, do you want to have this? This is great, uh, get it. And you say, you know what, I can't afford it. But the truth is you don't want to buy it. Why would you put yourself into a victim state, be honest to yourself, empower yourself and say, you know, I'm choosing not to invest in this and you still keep your power. So I encourage you to just be more aware of the words that you use. How often do you say, I can't afford this? Just be aware of it. And each time you catch yourself, check what's the truth in here. 
and choose to say, I choose not to invest or take it even a step further if you do want to afford it. Ask yourself this empowering question, question how can I afford it? So instead of saying, I can't afford it, ask yourself that question, how can I afford it? Because it opens up possibility. It might not happen overnight, but sometimes you will be surprised what it does. Ask yourself, how can I afford this? How can I make this happen? And then let it go. You don't have to have the answer right away. But it's an uplifting, empowering question. Instead of saying, I can't afford it. Poor me, I'm so broke. Does that make sense? I hope so. And I'm sh I was sharing this with you because I've done this in the past so many times. And when I realized how limiting that was and, and, and that energy follows attention and I was giving myself subconsciously that message that I can't afford it, I would never be able to afford it if I would kept saying that over and over and over and again. And please let me know what you think about this. If you are ready or willing to try it out, and if you do try it out, how you feel about it. Like ask, start to ask the question, how can I afford it? And erase, I'm broke and I can't afford it out of your vocabulary. It's not going to happen overnight. It took me a while. It's such an automatic pattern. It's so, such a habit to say it that you will say it anyway. And you will catch yourself and say, oops, I just did it again. And in time, you will erase it and you will become free of it and you will be more empowered and you will be able to receive more because you're open up to possibility. Thank you very much for being here with me today. It was a little bit longer and I hope you enjoy erasing those words in your life and to replace them with something more empowering. Have a fantastic day. Much love.